So they pulled the boats up on shore, left everything, and followed them. Now watch this, baby. Like, I need you to see this. Simon Peter, this could be us at any time of our life, right? Jesus comes to the Lake Galilee on the shores and walking it, and he needs a boat because the crowd is so great, and he sees Simon Peter, like, tending some nets. And you think he just tending some nets, but Simon Peter having a bad day here. And we think it's just a bad day, but you don't even know. This could just be a bad season of life. More than a day, more than a week, more than a month. Matter of fact, from the get-go, fishing could suck for this family business, and it could just be a bad, dark time. And he's sitting there all pissed off, mending the nets, but being faithful and doing what he got to do so that he can go back out and do it again and hopefully catch something. You understand what I'm saying? This is those dark days that we got. We don't like what we do. We don't want to do what we do, but we got to do what we got to do until we can do what we want to do. Feel me? Simon Peter is in this position and Jesus finds them there and he says, let me borrow your boat. And Simon Peter pushes off with Jesus and he listens to the sermon, right? And Jesus says, let down the net, Simon Peter, on the other side of the boat. And just like that, seasons change in Simon Peter's life. A darkness was there, but when Jesus spoke, the light of day shone in on it. And like that to Simon Peter is God's word to us. He may find you in the darkness, but when he comes speaking, baby, light has come in and the seasons of life have changed. Now all you got to do after God speaks is trust and obey. See what Simon Peter did? He goes, we didn't catch anything all night, but because you say so, we will do it. Trust and obey when God comes speaking. Now, what did Jesus tell him to do? He said, throw them nets in. What nets? The ones that he was being faithful and mending. Don't you understand that if you are not faithful in few, you can't be faithful with much. But because Simon Peter was faithful with few, he could cast what he had out and catch much more. Does that make sense? I don't care how dark your days are. I don't care what it is. You be faithful with what you got until God brings you the more that you are looking for. You may not be able to do everything, but you can do something. And that is what you be faithful with. You quit worrying about what you don't got and you start being thankful for what you do got. You be faithful with few, even in the dark times. It ain't all about just rainbows and butterflies. It ain't about like um, roses and unicorns. Sometimes God got to take you through the valley to get you to the mountaintop. Matter of fact, every time God's got to take you from the low to get to the high. There ain't no other way because you ain't earned the right to the summit unless you've been to the bottoms. Matter of fact, you can't ever even start at the top. He pulls you from the bottom up. That's what it is. But if you will be faithful down in the lows, in that dark time, in those times you can't figure it out, in those times that don't make sense, in the um, times where it seems like it's winter all day, every day, for uh, year after year after year. But if you will remain faithful when he shows up, because he's going to show up, I promise you, he's still living and active and giving his world a crease. He still knows who you are, where you at, and what you need. And when he shows up and speaks, your seasons change just like that. And you go to another level if you will trust and obey like Simon Peter did. Feel me?